Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's uh, doesn't to be doesn't appear to be breezy here, but it is breezy some on the bay. I just went down and looked at it after I dropped Chris off at the airport this morning. She's flying to New York, or she's already in New York now. Spend a couple days with her daughter. She'll be home Tuesday evening. So it's me and Jack and the critters, the carnivores. I got two things I need to share with you. One of my YouTube fellows, Daniel Donald Barnhart, made a comment about this little thing right here that we found the other day. Remember, we couldn't figure what it was? I can even get a picture of it here. There it is. Said it looked like a pencil. He said it is a pencil, it's a mechanical pencil, or part of one. And this is a phone dollar. In the old days when they had the old rotary phones, the operators would use this thing right here to put it in the rotary dial and dial. That's what they dial all the numbers with. Instead of using their finger, they use this job right here. It was pretty cool to find out what some things are for when you don't really know or don't have any clue. Okay. The next thing is in here. came in yesterday. I can't tell you what it is right now though. I think most of you already know what it is. Came from Chuck Sunspot Tooling, aka Stealth. It's uh, black. I think it's inch and a quarter in diameter. Really light, really strong. Mmm. Black beauty. There it is. Look how shiny and nice it is. Carbon fiber shaft for the uh, stylus scoops. Made especially for the 32 millimeter pipe diameter for the stiver scoops. There, I guess they're going to be available for sale. All right, I guess I'm testing another one, but I think they're ready now to be bought by the general public. I'll get a verification on that and let you know later. Maybe by the end of this video. I'm going to the land of Nada today to go look for some buttons. Since it's breezy on the bay. Stand by. Turn off, you piece of crap. I've been having some issues with the uh, tape wearing out. I guess the sand is eat away from the tapes, making it slide like it was before real loose. So yesterday I sprayed it with some bed liner that I used to use on my coils and it's uh Stiffed it up pretty good. I'll try that for a day or so. That stuff worked pretty good on the coils, but it was like anything else except for the epoxy. It would, the damn sand from, from the beach would wear it off. Rust oleum truck bed line coating. I don't think it'll last, but. You know, a week or two maybe, but it's easy to apply. I'm taking the uh, leader's car today. Rice burner is resting. See if I can put some yellow in this thing maybe, or a nice button. Stand by, we're ready to go.
west northwest 15 to 17. Well, the first target says it's 1122. I don't know what 1122 is. Stand by. 1122, major bling. Don't let it blind you, boys. Still got the back on it. That's right. Eyes. square nail, copper nail. I think that is a good sign. I got a 1238 right up against that bank right there's it. I was thinking a penny but it's a copper. I don't know if it's a back of a button or something. Copper. Holy. That's what I'm looking for. Can you see it right there? Right there. Button. Button, I say. Stand by. Looks like a flat button. Hard to tell. But it's in good damn shape. We'll clean it up when we get home. Stand by. I think we got us a bail seal now. Yeah, bail seal. Well, the bail seal was right there. And then I moved going away, and that's another target right next to the bail seal. Oh, I thought I had a button, but I don't know what the hell it is. Rivet, maybe, or something? I, I don't know. My buddy, he's a, <laughs> he's about to pass out. Every time I stop, now he lays down. Because <laughs> he's been here two hours, I know he's tired. Look at this. He's so tired. As soon as he sat down, he put his feet on my legs and laid down, across the steering wheel, across the shifter, across everything. <laughs> so let's go home, Daddy. Come on, come on. I'm tired. I want to get in my bed. Take a nap. Three hours. You killed me, Daddy. <laughs> okay. Beaver's at the bay. I don't know how he's making out. I know he's making out. I got a text from him. Two missed calls. I'll get back to you on that. Well, here's a roundup from the land of Nada today. Not a bad day considering some of the spins we've had down there. We got some cool tickets. No clue what that is. Brass.
This is a buckle off a swimming suit hat, you know, the old hats like the women used to use. I did find a nice bail seal, lead bail seal. No marks on it. Usually we find them with letters or numbers on them, but this one, this one doesn't have anything. Just a little seal-like thing. But then, that button, that's a nice button. Several of these have been found, but this is the first one I found. I intentionally went down and looking for it, too. I thought it was just a plain flat button until I got home. And as you can see, it's an anchor button. I think it's an old British button. 1750s, 1800 era. So I've been told. But I don't know that for a fact. That's just what the other guys found out about theirs. Okay. Got the knife gig in the morning. Uh, winter hours, 10 to 1. And... I could go spinning afterwards, but I guess it depends on the weather. Both be really pretty. No breeze, zero. But I might go fishing with my daughter. So we have to see how that goes. I'll see you at the knife gig. Good luck to everybody. Take it easy.